likely. Oh my god, I guess this is uh this is the new game. The objective of this mode is to uh gather the letter cubes lying around to form a question. Oh shit, the bad version of skateboarding, it looks like it. I press A to accelerate uh, left stick to move left and right. I pick up letter cubes. So shit, I have to form the question and then choose an answer? God, that's so sucky. Once they complete the question, you head towards the escort. Uh, to the correct answer. Uh, if you get the right answer, you'll get in your car. If you get in the wrong answer, something bad happens. Also, there are other cars on the road. If you hit those, you take focus energy. When it's getting uh, dangerous, press R to concentrate and avoid them. Play safe, enjoy the ride. Please res uh, respond at, the earliest at your earliest convenience. Do I have to form a question? Uh, the body was brought from where? The body was brought from where? Okay. A lab window, I guess? What? What? I had to hit her? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I had to hit the hooker on the road. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> this is literally Grand Theft Auto. Dude, this is Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> what the fuck? That is so fucked. Yeah, I thought Hajime was like, Hajime had some crazy shit going on, but like, damn. The body was brought to the gym from where? Where was the body brought from? The gym window. Guess I gotta. It thinks about running over hookers. <laughs> to figure shit out. Yeah. So I hit them and then they pop up in my car. I just realized that. Not only do I have one hooker, but I have two hookers. This guy is just not satisfied with the one. Okay, how was it moving from the how was it moved from the classroom window to the gym window? What if a cop comes? I think you're speeding. I might be speeding. I might be speeding. Uh window to window. Holy shit. <laughs> 
This dude's about to have the craziest night right now. High speed chase running over hookers and then putting them in my car. What the fuck is going on in this dude's head? What the fuck? Holy shit. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing I knew something was wrong with you. You can't not tell me something's wrong with you. After I just had to do that. <laughs> what do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. Me as Kayede had a right to be worried about you. <laughs> you can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Shit, I don't... <laughs> Equipment to connect the windows? I believe it was found near the body. There! The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. It might be the stairs. That's how you connect windows, right? With stairs. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only a door can reveal. What mysterious mystery? What did the killer use the light? The they might have used the flashback light. The the they might have used the flashback light. The rope has been moved to that stage for some reason. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope! That's how they bridged the distance between both windows! Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. As for the distance between the windows... According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. You bet it's long enough! That's what she said. What the fuck? Who said uh, that? That's what she said, joke? Holy Even shit. Rope was long enough, I love Mew. I wish I had items for her. I wish I had items to talk to Mew. Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No. Don't you think it would work? Just need one more rope. I'm sure she'd like a vibrator. She might. She actually might be the only one that would like the weird toy. That's a vibrator. Uh, no. There should be another rope. At least something that could be used as a rope. I didn't get that item this game, though. I didn't get the meme item. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? 50, foot. 50 feet or so, but how do they use it? Okay, so first, culprit hang rope outside of one window, then, culprit move to the other side and tie cable to other window. Then, after tying to each window. Back. Gonta should be the one solving these cases. He have he has the ultimate IQ. That helped culprit make one rope that reached both windows. Wow, that's amazing, Gonta. You're so knowledgeable. It, it's nothing. Gonta use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. <laughs> Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. Eureka! I got it! Thomas Edison once said that genius is 
100% inspiration and 99%, but in my case, it's 100% inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> they handcuff the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! The body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Holy shit. Damn. Damn, boy. <laughs> Tarzan? Um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Not just the rope? Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. They wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the plan. Sorry, he reminds me of uh, Hiyoko and Mikan. Yeah, a little bit. Into the tank with their own Mikan and Hiy uh, Mikan and Hiyoko Maybe was kind of uh, a way to do that. Kokichi, are you hinting at something? Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. You're confusing me. Um, you are definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to um, place a body directly in the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit would uh, not have been able to retrieve it. They would have only had one shot at it, no second chances. So obviously the culprit would have wanted the body uh, to put the body in the tank carefully, meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? Also, um, that we know right now that the rope was connecting the window. Somehow the culprit used that to move the body and uh, were close to the windows themselves. Make that work. They had to use uh, something else. But what would they have done? Uh, well, what could they have All done? Right, Shuichi, the stage is finally set. What? Mikan. Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. <laughs> Holy it all shit! starts with you. You Kaito just wants to take all the credit. I'll be the main event. Kaito just wants to take all the and credit. Together, we're going to save everyone. Together? You got this. After all, you are my side. I know I'm he's trying to you, So I'm going to leave the rest. Fucking hate you. him. Like I know he's trying to um help me. But like I'm like he's taking all my thunder. Okay, I can do this. I will solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something ha uh, was used with a rope to move the body between the windows. Think, come on, think. Hangman's Gambit. How do I? Oh, that's what it is. Uh. So what is this? It's the raft, isn't it? This one is fucking dumb. But the only thing I can think of that would be like stupid is rubber. So 
Fuck, I'm out of magic. Is it the fact that they shimmied on the rope? Yes, that's it. The culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. A ropeway, huh? Are you sure like, about that? What the fuck? Wow, you got brain damage or something? <laughs> They did. They had the. Um, no, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. It was the. What the fuck? Mine, mind, mine. What the fuck? These is images. Uh, this scene is where you. Uh, deduce an image. Mind, mind will begin. In this mode, your objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, uh, answers will completely cover it by pieces. I use the left stick and the cursors to erase pieces with A. Uh, pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color are connected. The adjacent square will change colors in the following order, pink, white, yellow, white. If you do it right, you'll remove all the pieces of the object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on the top of the object are gone, uh, you can select the object as the answer. If you select the wrong object, uh, your influence game will take damage. If there's just one piece left uh, and you press the A button, repeat, press the A button repeatedly to break it. But uh, this will incur a time penalty, so don't just mash A. Uh, it sounds complicated, but trust me, it'll get easier as you play. Thank you for understanding. Holy fuck. Wait, how do I... Yeah, I lost this one real bad. I don't know what my, uh, I don't know what my things for. Oh, you don't have to get, I, I thought I had to get rid of all of them. I thought I had to get rid of all of them. I know they said I could click on the picture, but I was just like, I have to get rid of everything.
Oh, just enough to use. Okay. Okay. It's the inner tube. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side? Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. The culprit made a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. The culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway and used it to move themselves and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Either that, or the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. That way would be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. Well, when you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. But wow, a ropeway! You say the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. Isn't that against school rules? It would count as entering the gym, would it not? <laughs> Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out. But standing on the sill is... Wait. Who asked you last time? Yeah, that's what I was going to say last time. Eh? Holy shit, the murderer it's asked them if they could the do it. The went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Damn. Oh, shit! Manasuki, you're getting killed you next. Put your foot in your mouth. Manasuki, next to go. Next to go, Manasuki. Calling it. Calling it. Cut it out. I can't write this off as a joke. If you two keep freaking out about it. <laughs> then your little slip up is actually the truth. Damn, Monica, the silence. Yeah, holy shit. That's so unlucky for the killer. Yeah, their murder method is just revealed by a third party. Yeah, I know. Mana Suke. I know skate. My no skate. Fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip up? But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. My no skate. So Colbert really used ropeway to move body? Yeah, they used the ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy ass shit! But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. I see, I see! The rope was thrown from the window! That's 
why we found it there. With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? When the culprit left it in the pool is obvious. They left it in the pool because, um, Nighttime. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's I know they can't swim. That's what I was thinking. I was like, they can't go into the pool, but I'm like, what's the thing that Even says they, they can't go into the pool? They couldn't because this took place at nighttime. I see. They couldn't fit the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at nighttime. Man. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, the steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. It's different if they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag tube in. drops an inner tube and can't retrieve it let me tell you this culprit's a real fucking amateur no actually save for that one mistake this was the perfect crime if maki had never met up with ryoma at nighttime it might have been the end for us oh i still don't know if maki is telling the truth or not <laughs> Shut Personally, up. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never <laughs> even imagined there was a rope way. Damn. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. <laughs> what are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. No, respecting the culprits and shadow entrance is critical to solving this case. We're so close. We're just one step away from the truth. Now, yeah, I like I, I like Kyo's person. I, I like his personality. It would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. Who is it then? I, I'm still thinking. Um, I still think it's the maid. For me to start the main event. Like I said, I'm not going to back off that. That's who I thought at the beginning of the case. And nothing's changed since then, so I'm still thinking the mate. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I still think it's Kurumi. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? Yes, I had a good idea who the culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? What? Come on, man. There's no need for that. Like I said. You're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. The whole stuff would have been uh, prepared in the gym well beforehand. Therefore, that narrows down the list of suspects. It has to be 
Oh, I got one. I got one. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> what? K Kirumi? She played it off so well this case too. That's why I was kind of doubting myself and I was just like That is not yet a certainty. I don't know. Testimony first. Is this true Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. When I played this chapter, I was going hard on her from the start too. Yeah, and I was just like, I, I had to think about it a little bit, and I kind of, I kind of came to that conclusion as soon as the court case was starting. And I was like, I feel like she's the only one that had access. But like, the last trial had me doubting myself so much. Force uh, Kurumi to implicate herself. My logic has to be airtight. There's a hole in her story somewhere, uh, and I have to stay calm and find it. Let's see. Source to gather together. Um. Ultimate anthropologist. Uh, he was with Kurumi from 9 to 10. By 11, he returned to the lab. Kurumi was in the gym until a little before nine, and uh, from nine to ten, uh, she was with Kokuchi Graham. You uh, also seen multiple times last night wandering around the court in our laundry. I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was committed at nighttime. We do have no time. Do we? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. I, I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by you. Mm -hmm. That's wrong! Did it. And, and I got all of my shots tonight. Except the one where I accidentally didn't sw uh, sw uh, flip. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym link and putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window. That required preparation. That could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before night time. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only like five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion. Oh shit, she's fighting back. She's fighting back. While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. Rebuttal showdown. If it were solely the rope and partition. Oh. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. 
However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. Uh, uh, let's try and push this forward. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. Yeah, let's advance this. What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the road. Now, with that road, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. In other words, it is just a guess. And then you add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. It is nothing more than deception. Okay, so... That's I am sure the evidence. To the road. Now, with that road, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Oh shit, I missed. I was wrong! I am referring to the road. Now, with that road, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. In other words, it is just a guess. Oh, it's the scratches on the window. You add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. Oh shit, no. Nothing more than deception. Can I am look at these again. The road. Marked one of those frames. Alright. Now with that road. It is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there oh, is fuck. no evidence to indicate this had happened. Yeah, it's the it's bad. Cut through your words. Yeah, the marks on the windows that indicate that the rope is used on the window. I have evidence. The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym in the lab. Those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window frame? Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the window sill. Oh? What's wrong, Kirumi? Damn, Kirumi. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Is Kirumi quiet because that's what happened? Maybe Kirumi actually yeah, wanted to so wash. Ah, uh, Ryoma. I feel like my washer theory should still hold up. My washer theory would have been amazing. I cannot allow that. Because I must do this for everyone. For everyone? A duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. So I refuse to surrender. Give me a bath and exit. Yeah, exactly. She was just bathing him. What? Where's this coming from? Her response seems genuine. So what did she mean by everyone? She's doing this for every for our sake? Uh, am I wrong? Is Kurumi innocent? No, I'm wrong again? Hey, Kirumi, who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, felt like you weren't talking about us. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the academy? Hey. Do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Huh? The motive video? You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder. 
Sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear to Atua? Do I swear to Atua? Yes, really. So please believe me, I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me, but I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished for all of us to escape together. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. Please believe me. You have to. Kirumi. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else. Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? <laughs> How rude. Gobata just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She always treated us so well. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi. Please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. Put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. What? No, don't back yeah. down now. Maybe we should think it over one Guys, don't time. back down now. I don't do this. Made a promise. As the ultimate detective, never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. Believe it. They're scared. They're scared that they have accused one of their friends of murder. I changed my mind. I'm siding with everyone else. <laughs> so it's up to me. I have to do it. I have my detective work. I'll, I'll use my detective work. Still believe I'm the culprit? There is no evidence to indicate that I am. No, there is. I have proof that you are the culprit. I realized it when you determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. If it wasn't Ikirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the final clue falls into place. The final clue? The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Don't you want to protect everyone? I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. And she's, th she's throwing shade. Shut up. Oh my you god. Can't save anyone. You can't save anyone. No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. This 
This is it. The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Because like the inner two, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? Yeah, so they have to use if their hand. If sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. That's what I was thinking. I was like, the way they positioned their hand was weird because she needs to use her hand as a stop. For example, the yeah, like that. Use their hands for friction. Yeah, so what? You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Hmm. Why are you becoming increasingly erratic? There is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. <laughs> I find out how that black fabric uh, fits into the key to this evidence. Uh, I'll make it clear now. Argument armament. You are incorrect. <laughs> what is this truth? That is just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. <laughs> you are incorrect. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Because of your self-righteous truth, everyone might die. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Because of your self-righteous truth. understand your reason but I will never accept it it seems you wish to pin me as the culprit you do not have any evidence you are only providing us with speculation you only wish to protect everyone why must you interfere I completely understand your reason but I will never accept it you wish to pin me as the cult. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. You only wish to protect everyone. Why must you interfere? You completely understand your reason. Final blow. What does that piece of trash prove? Uh, Kirumi gloves. It ends here. No. The piece of fabric came from Kirumi's black glove. Kirumi's glove? <laughs> Who glove Mickey's? It was Mickey's glove? If the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands, there would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and it fell into. Pool. Yeah, yeah. Since I keep calling her Kamari. What I remember, the only <laughs> one who wears black gloves is Kirumi, right? I think I only call her Kamari like 
three times. I Tops. I called her Kurumi every time I thought I stopped and thought about it. That's why every time it comes to like her name, I would pause. Cause I for some reason I want to swap the syllables. I I don't know why. Well, Kurumi. <laughs> Will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? <laughs> oh man. Huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> in the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared to reveal the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. But Kaede was scared too. She didn't let it stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth. I doubted it. And I kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me. I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. Comic book time. Comic book time. Remember when Ran fucking died and everyone forgot? Yeah. Pepper's Farm remembers. Pepper's Farm sure as fuck remembers. A uh, handcuffed victim. So the only pictures I have right now are the friction from the glove, the piranha swarm, the rubber inner tube, and carried the rope. So let's see. What was used as the partition? Uh, the thin long item the culprit uh, took from the gym. That would be the rope, I think. Uh, let's put the rope there. Um, the item that the rope was tied to, we don't have that yet. We have the handcuffed victim, the inner tube, the friction, and the glass. We're murdering what was on the victim's wrist, the handcuffs. Uh, this is the best. This is also the best version of this mini game. I do like this one. I like the f what? Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. Yeah, I do like this version of this mini game. They, I feel like they cleaned up a lot of the issues. Uh, what was taken from the pool? And what was used to transport? The victim on the ropeway. Uh, hitting the brakes was tougher than expected. That's this. And where was the body carried to? That's here. Alright, so we unlocked the gym window rope frame. Uh, the piranha tank. And the metal handcuffs in the water. Um, what was used to transport on the transfer the body on the ropeway? Uh, where was the gem rope tied? A frame. Uh, what was used to partition the piranha tank? That was the lid. And metal handcuffs in the water. Evidence that made the uh, made of metal that the piranhas did not eat. That was this. So the last thing is where the body was transported on the ropeway. It was the hanging inner tube. This is the truth of the case. All right. The Act five was found this morning during Kimiko's underwater escape act. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Kimiko's escape failed. 
course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with Piranha swarming around him. Before any of us could react, the Piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. And all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. I don't know why, but I'm just waiting for... The culprit obfuscated the time... So I can't believe the they fucking need to keep... Yeah! That, like, that's so fucking messed up. They just threw that dude into this window. In truth, the crime began last night. But yeah, uh, th this is what I was, this is what I was thinking. I, I'm just waiting for, uh... Had a chance to be alone. Uh, Hio. Or... I think that's how you say his name. Uh, the ar uh, anthropologist. Hio, uh, I think. Uh, to make a Maximilian Pegasus voice. Like, I'm just like, that's what he looks like to me. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. I'm just waiting for him to call me Suichi Boy. Suichi Boy. And use the ladder once more, this time to climb up to the gym's window. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. It's so crazy how they how she still has her gloves on the entire time during this cutscene. Like I've been looking at this the whole time. She just her character just has the gloves. Like it still has the maid gloves on. I guess because it's an important clue to the case. But I'm just like. The mate lady looks so sinister in this comic. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. We changed the gray guy from a from a faceless uh bluish black blob. The culprit knocked Rioma out, probably striking him from behind. The great guy has improved as well. We didn't discuss this. So from game one and game two, gray, the gray murderer has improved. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. Rip Rioma. Yeah, rip Rioma. Rioma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. And then, at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed.
Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. He pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. They didn't talk about where the length of rope came from. But the culprit made two Where'd that extra length of rope come from? got on the inner tube with Rioma's body and slid toward the gym. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. That would have caused significant rope burning had the culprit not been Imagine walking blocks. in the pool at night, seeing someone flying on an inner tube on a dead body. Yeah, what the f <laughs> Yeah, that would have been insane. Part of tore off and dropped in the pool. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Rioma's body into the pool. Yeah, that would have been insane seeing that. The glass paint but like I think up until this case, uh, up until this night, no one knew they could actually walk into the pool. Like everyone just assumed that not being able to go to the pool meant not being able to go to the actual pool house. Like the, I guess the, uh, the auditorium. Um, not that they couldn't swim in the pool. Dropped into the pool. Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. Story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? Damn, we got him. We got Kirumi.